Welcome to the Kareem Report, a.k.a. Mr. 100 Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Man, today I want to uh, talk about uh, Jay Hood from O Block. Um, the name of his channel, he has a, a YouTube channel called Came From Nothing. Um, I first got up on, on Jay Hood. Um, he did an interview with Fuchsia's TV. Um, good interview. He shook up the internet, some things he said, right? I said, let me give him a shot. Let me hear what he's talking about. But um, and on his channel, he was basically stressing that his channel is not about the streets. His channel is about um, doing the right thing. It's about, you know, serving God and different things like that. So I'm like, it's cool. You know, that's, that's a good thing. But the more I listen to him and I start checking into him, he comes off as a real fraud to me. And... I don't like when guys use use God and, and things like that to try to, you know, to sway people in like he almighty. And what I don't like about him, for one, he say he's from O Block and it's proof that he is from O Block. But I don't like how he tear and 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 air out all them guys um, laundry, tell all their personal business. I, I I think he he's real corny for that because. What's your point? Especially if you ain't have no problems with these guys. He he, he played football. Um, he went to school. He, he moved away. He just came out of nowhere and start airing out their laundry and, and start going in on these guys like he really hate them. I don't know what's the backstory of him. Um, why is he doing this? And then, you know, I don't like that he saying that King Vaughn killed all these people and stuff that wasn't even on the internet already. Some some new stuff he came up with. I don't know if it's true or not. But, you know, who wants to, as King Vaughn family, his his mom, mind you, he got kids. Who wants to to put in that negative light like that? And the thing why I don't why I don't respect this guy because and I think he he's he's phony because he tried to push his narrative, yo man, I just want y'all to know, man. Um I'm about I'm about the Lord. I'm about change, but he he full of it because he's seeing he get all his clicks when he talk about the street stuff, talk about O Block and different things like that. He see he get a lot of clicks on that, so he keep try to he try to use that. He always come y'all here and, and 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 what I hate when people do, he try to come at people like they stupid, like you gotta follow and they listen to you. If you wanna just be a blogger. And you want to talk about street stuff? Go ahead, go right ahead. But don't try to. He get on there. You people, oh y'all want to hear his negativity? Oh, I'm tired. Like he, he's sick. This this guy here is sick. He come on here and complain and talk about people. All oh, they want to hear about negativities. Want to hear about? But he 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 tell these stories. Then he said, oh oh, it's not only reason I mentioned it because somebody asked me. You don't come on like stop it. He talks about the street stuff all the time. And then he said he. Tell these people to not to glorify these people, and so he want to tell this day story. But how you tell this story, and and you putting yourself okay? Let's say you come out and say you shouldn't glorify the streets because the streets is not good to glorify X Y Z. These things can happen to you. Okay, cool. But then you come and be like, oh, this guy he can't fight. He know I break his jaw. Now you you taking it somewhere else. Boss top, boss top can't fight. Oh, this person can't fight. Oh, I, I I break jaws and stuff like that. I do this and I do that. And this guy's not that. Like, come on, like you coming off as a real fraud. And and I, I lost a lot of respect for him. And I don't see how somebody could really be be following this guy and and really entertaining it. Cause now he coming off as a real clown. And and to the guys in O Block, to them, it's like he came left field with this. They like, it's not like it was a problem with him. Like, you know, so he came left field. So he has a hidden agenda. And, and, and my thing is, like I said, it's nothing wrong if you want to come out and be a blogger, whatever you want to talk about. But when you try to use God in one, in, for one sense and try to say, oh, you're doing it for this reason. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're doing. You're just trying to get people. You say these stuff just to try to get people to learn. No, you're not.
Cause, cause you're not really saying nothing impactful to uh really drop. You ain't dropping no real jewels on nobody. Like you're not dropping jewels, period. You know, and and then you always talk about how you, you'll break somebody's jaw. You could do this and do that. You, you speak in violence, and then you sit there and and you talk about different guys from your block you grew up with. You said you love these guys. You talk about him more than people who your your, your enemies. Well, your so called I ain't gonna say your enemies. I don't know if you. You grew up and, and you was in the streets like that, but you talk about him more than the guys from your block who was into it with and was beefing with. You know, I, I don't I don't get it. If you so called love these guys and y'all both shared the same tears, that's like okay, you said okay, oh um Boss Top for instance. Boss Top loved Vaughn, he loved T Roy, he loved O D, right? You suppose to you Love OD, you love T Roy, you love Vaughn, and whoever else, a lot of other guys in O Block died. Y'all all y'all sharing the same pain. You know, that's that's what y'all got in common. With that, y'all supposed to be locked in. Y'all sharing that pain. You know, y'all lost guys, you know, that y'all both it, it hit y'all. I know that's a connection which you and them guys have. For you to be be doing that in like every video, you you find one person after the other, or oh, he wasn't like that. This guy was a little crybaby. He did this big one. He was a big crybaby. Uh, you know, I, I, I just can't respect that. And and I just hope that, man, I, man, I just, these guys, these bigger bloggers shouldn't even get these guys no light, man. He shouldn't, they shouldn't give him no light. I don't think he deserved another interview because I think he being very disrespectful to King Vaughn family. You bringing up stuff that, that wasn't on the internet. The, the Boss Trail thing, nobody said nothing about King Vaughn did anything to Boss Trail. He brought that to the internet. Little Mister, you brought that thing to the internet. Nobody never said nothing about Vaughn did something to Little Mister. You brought that to the internet. How do you think his family feel? Who who wants, you think his mom already had to hear the other stuff and then adding on? Like, his, he got like, Vaughn got like a young mom. His mom probably like my age. And... His cousins, his sisters, you know what I mean? His kids soon going to be teenagers and going to be on the internet, 12, 13, they're going to be soon. And they got to hear this. Who want to hear that their they father was like some type of serial killer? Oh, Vaughn, he got like seven bodies. He told me. He told you this. Like, you come off, like, he telling you every single thing. Like, you know everything and, and, and nobody else even bringing this stuff to the format. Like, the things your homeboys, man, even if you fell out with one or two of them, you putting a bad light on these guys, man. It, it, it was cool, like I said, in the Future TV interview, you went into some back in the days when you said, oh, Chief Keith, you know, him and this guy got into it, you know, and the guy, he's older than Chief Keith, and he slammed him inside a dumpster. Okay, cool. Little stuff like that. It was no ill will intent. You just bringing up a little reminiscing, okay, cool, but now you get too gone too far with this, and you're saying a little too much, and um, you, you, to me, you come off as a clown, um, and you come off, you're seeing the numbers you get getting, and now you jumping on everything, even other interviews that don't have nothing to do with old block, now you, you trying to cover every little thing of it, but you just were saying you don't like people glorify, why people glorify the streets? But you covering everything that has something to do with the Chicago drill scene now. Now you covering everything. And then you try to say, oh, it's a message you guys glorify. This is cause like like stop it. Who glorifying it? It's entertainment to some people. Like for me, I I I follow it like the Chicago drill scene. It's entertainment. It, it's not putting no influence on me. It's not it's not making me one way, well, I ain't gonna say me because I'm, you know, I'm pretty much uh, stamped, so I'm gonna say more of a, a younger guy, I don't, well, it depends who, if he's weak-minded like that, I don't know but, I don't you know, it's just entertainment, some of the stuff on the internet, people take it as entertainment but you trying to come off godly and things like that, but you 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 being a big fraud, you being a big fraud like Ben Simmons Ben Simmons trying to use mental health and, and people play with some things some things I think shouldn't be played with I think mental health, what Ben Simmons did, that's why I lost a lot of respect for him. And um, this this guy here, Jay Hood, with this, you you playing the uh, guard role and thing, you playing games, man. You you pump faking and, and, and you real corny for that. 
So I think that most of the big, the big uh, bloggers, they should have paid this guy no channel. I mean, no pay, pay him no mind. You know what I mean? Don't even give him no light because this guy's a fraud. And he playing a very dangerous game because it, yeah, you, you, wherever you at, you could bump into somebody. You could bump into just one, just one of the guys from your block or you could bump to the other guys. The other guys ain't going to spare you because you kicking dirt on them. They gonna all you they know use from old block and, and and they can get down on you, like it's just not even worth it, man. If you're gonna be that, be that, but but don't sit there and try to run the, the guard thing. You real corny for that, man. But J Hood, man, you gotta do better, man. You got to, cause you looking like real corny out here. So I need you guys to like, subscribe, peace.